Howdy folks, it's Command Line Volpine here, and welcome to Let's Play Super Auto Pets. This game is taking the internet by storm lately. It's like the uh, it's like the video game version of Squid Game right now. Everyone's playing Super Auto Pets, but we're gonna give it a go. It's free on Steam. It's still in early access. It's a uh, it's an auto battler, but it's not like the other auto battlers out there, like the Dota's or not Dota. <laughs> Base from Dota, what's it called? Team Fight Tactics. They keep changing the name of it because of copyright reasons and stuff. We're gonna turn off the in-game music because we're gonna, once you get in-game, there's like no music on the uh, shop screen. So we're gonna have to use my own music for that. So we're, uh, we're just gonna jump in. So it's a little bit more like, uh, I would say, it's a little more like Magic the Gathering meets Darkest Dungeon. Because you'll see they have toughness and attack like uh, Magic at the Gathering. And then you have to focus a lot on like building good synergies between the characters. Now, on our first round, we're not going to have much choice of how we're going to synergize, but we'll do our best. So, the Cricket, when it dies, it spawns a 1-1 Cricket. So, it's kind of a 2-for-1. When you buy the Otter, it gives a random friend plus 1, plus 1. So, you want to buy other stuff before the, before the Otter, right? And when we sell the pig, we get an extra gold, so we can kind of take him and then uh, send him back the next round for some extra money. Uh, Rerolls cost one gold. Every unit costs three gold, and the shop costs three gold. And you do not carry money over, unlike some of the other team or other uh, auto battler games out there. So. Be nice if that gave the the summon cricket plus one plus one, but it's not. So what I'm gonna say is let's get the. It doesn't really matter which one we get first, other than getting the otter second. Let's make the pig beefy, like that. I'm gonna put the cricket in the back. You can reroll. It's giving me tutorials. There might be some stuff I don't know because it's my first time like actually playing it here. See, when the fish levels up, it gives all friends plus one, plus one. And ant is good. I think, let's see, can we right click on this to freeze it? Yes. I want to freeze that cricket. I don't know if it's going to be better to, well, it doesn't matter, like, really that much. I'm thinking I want to level up my cricket, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. We'll see. Let's just send it. You have to randomly generate your team name here. Seeing if we have one that's funny. No, not really. The wavy, wavy ears. All right, let's switch to battle music. Okay, the sniffing pants. Oh. Auto play, please. I didn't realize we had to actually click them to make them fight. Yeah, yeah, you, you got a horse. Horses are super strong. In the early game, because they buff anything that spawns. So if you hit a, a cricket and a horse, that spawned cricket's going to get the plus one, plus one. I need a quicker way to switch back and forth between the musics here. That's okay. Oh. There's the horses. So. I have an, I have an idea. Two horses. <laughs> Uh, let's see. How do we sell the quick pigs quickly? It does stink because the pig is tanky. Okay, Otter only gave us... Maybe we keep the pig. Main thing is I want to... I want to buy a second cricket here. I think we sell the Otter and keep the pig, to be honest with you. Just because, of the, just because the pig's tanky here. We do two crickets... Two horses. So both of the summoned crickets are going to get... Uh, I'll just plus one attack until in the battle. Which is fine. And also... When you buy things here and put it into the group, that's considered a, a summon. Keep you. What happens if pigs level up? Is there a way for us to check? Remind me to check. Hopefully one day. Oh, that is sent us. That's okay. Oh, combat music. Okay. 
Okay. Wait, what? What happens? Why do I have one cricket? Do you have a sniper? He must have had a sniper. You got really lucky that you had a sniper, bro, and it hit my cricket because uh, you were going down. Okay. Going back and forth between these isn't going to work. Not unless... Let's see. Yeah, I've put it into windowed mode now, so now I can click off and on the uh, menu. Oh, now it shows me this. It's a little glitched out, though, with, uh, with it being in menu. Oh, what the heck? It's weird. Okay. All right. Huh? Did I get DC'd or something? What's... I'm kind of confused. Early access? Uh, I did want to freeze this, but I guess I'm getting a second chance of this turn. I guess the game didn't like me clicking out of the window, too. Okay. Do I have to fight the same guy, or is it going to be... That's a lot of pigs, man. You're going to have a lot of money, but... I mean, you buffed one of them, but it's not going to matter when I'm getting these... Uh, 3-1 crickets out. <laughs> Say hello to another 3-1 quick crit. There you go. <laughs> hmm. That's the... Oop. We're playing the No Thoughts Head Empty music when we're in combat. That's not the way it's supposed to go. There's your level 2 horse. Kangaroo. Friends ahead. Friend ahead attacks. Gain plus 2 and plus... Or plus two, plus two. Faint, you deal two damage to everything. So you want to put him at the back so he gets attacked last when you don't have characters left. I do like this, though. Because the cricket's going to get to attack twice before this thing gets to attack once. So we could do one free reroll. I don't know if we want to keep this pig in here. At least freezing you. Elephant. Before attack, deal one damage to a friend behind. So you would also like you in the back. Meat bone. Give an animal bone attack. Attack for five more damage. Or give an animal plus one plus one. Well, right now, horse is part of my strategy. So I think we just feed the horse, unfreeze you. In turn. I wish we could look at the level up track. <laughs> All right. The wet pants. You got a horse too. Oldest trick in the book. That's a strong honor, man. I wish that otter hadn't been so strong. It had the power to just kill everything I had. That's okay. The kangaroo's very strong, and we'll tie. <laughs> Everything on the guy's team is tough. They probably know what they're doing. Whereas I only vaguely know what I'm doing. Luckily, draws don't count against your uh, losses. When you die, give the two enemies behind you plus one and plus one. Maybe. I might be focusing too much on these low-level creatures, though, you know? Just think if we put him in front of the kangaroo... It'll give the kangaroo... Eh, well, the cricket thing is actually working pretty well. Just this re-roll for now. Dota is really good. At the start of a bow, give attack to the friend ahead. The pig's like the only thing that can go here. Start of turn, gain one gold. I think it is time for the pig to go because these things that are coming up have the same, same or more damage than our pig. Also, this cricket isn't particularly doing that much. I think you fuse the cricket, put the dodo there. Fuse. 
fish levels up, it gives all friends plus one, plus one. That's not selling. Make a friendly animal faint. This costs one gold. But you don't want to do that to the pig, right? Because that's not the same as selling it. You sell the pig. Put the swan in. Cupcake is a one-time use. Might as well reroll because you don't carry over your... Ooh, baby. Okay. Might be going all in on... Going on level all in on a level one character might not be a good idea. Clicking in and off the menu. It's not working. I'm going to have to figure out a way to put it on my Elgato. That is a strong friggin' elephant, man. Another draw. <laughs> we take those, we take those. Tier three animals unlocked. Okay. Honey badger doesn't care. Honey badger doesn't give a S. When it dies, it deals attack damage to adjacent animals. So you want to put him at the back. Because that also includes your allies. Squirrel, when you buy it, clear and fill shops with all food. I don't think so. One, one dirty rat for the opponents that betray him. We want to level up the dodo. It's fine. Give melon armor to the friend behind. That's pretty good with the kangaroo. Melon armor lets you take 20 damage, uh, 20 less damage once, which in the early game just pretty much means you're invincible for one round. So let's see, you get hit twice. Fox. Friend ahead faints, gain melon armor and to attack. There's another dodo, freeze it. I also think we want this turtle. I also think we want this turtle. Send it. So we have to win. 10 times to win. The Dry Tentacles. He's doing Dodo strats too. Get dusted. Oh no, he has a dog. Dog horse is kind of like the matching strategies. Guess what? I got another friggin' uh, cricket. And we're going to draw again. <laughs> Get everyone's doing the same strategy. Okay. I figured out how to do this now. I just have to not click back into the game while we're fighting. <laughs> okay. Swan, you are disposable. I mean, you're strong. Cricket is strong too at this point, though. Thing is, we gotta get the gotta get the turtle ahead of the kangaroo here. Goodbye, Swan. That doesn't make sense. Do it that way. Nice. Roll. Well, at the start of battle, swallow a friend and release it as level one after fainting. There's a strategy for this, but I don't really understand what it is. At the end of the turn, 
Give friend the head plus one. So the draft is just like permanently every turn we get a permanent boost. We're going to run this. Two salads is actually kind of interesting. In turn. Combat music. All right. Sour cries, hooting mushrooms. Okay, really unfortunate that uh, he had enough damage to, or enough health to get through both of my crickets. You got a level three cricket. Why is everyone using the same strategies? Got enough melon armor there, butch. Guess what? I've got melon armor. Oh, you have death touch, I think. No, you just summon. Get dusted. Get dusted. We're going to not die again. Okay. We were going to win, and then he had melon armor. We're very good at drawing. Rooster. When it dies, summon a chick with the same attack as this. Bison. At the end of turn, gain plus two, plus two. If there's at least a level we don't have one. Penguin, I think, is a permanent buffer as well. Give other level two and three friends plus one and plus one. Permanently, I think. Every time the peacock is hurt, it gains two attack. So the rooster... It's kind of like the cricket. <sighs> it's hard to say. The rooster's really good. I don't know what I would take out. Dodos are good, but I don't know if it's actually working for what we're trying to do here. Figured that would auto sell. You only get one coin back for selling. Good to know. Blowfish are really good too. They deal two damage to a random enemy when they get hit. I start in the dolphins. They do five damage to the weakest enemy, which is good for taking out weak enemies. We're just going to do some random buffs here. I need you. we got now the misty hipsters two dolphins so you're gonna do a ton of damage to rooster and turtle apparently i think they both have something they can do really unfortunate that i couldn't kill the dolphin there i am just getting i'm getting dusted <laughs> Hippo. Everything you kill gives you gives you plus two attack, plus two HP. That's pretty strong. I think we have to abandon cricket strats here. Despite how strong it is. You gotta do that. An animal into garlic arms makes it take two less damage every hit. You give that to the hippo. Get an animal bone attack. Attacks for five extra damage. Wish we could stack those, but I don't think you can stack upgrades. Was that just permanent five damage every attack? Well, that'll apply to the I don't know. No, it doesn't apply. It's fake. It's fake damage. Fake news. I was hoping that it would raise its attack by uh, five, and then the chick that comes out would be stronger.
Salty carrots. So deer suck. When they die, they summon a uh, bus, which are very strong. It might kill our chicken. Yep. That's what I was worried about. It's okay. The chick comes out. It's a glass cannon, though. Luckily, we can kill this really strong spider. I think we might win. It depends on how strong this dog gets. Damn it. Oh. Every time something's summoned, you get stronger. No, I'm going to win. Nice. That's our first win in quite a long time. We have to get 10 wins to actually get the victory royale. There's not like a huge bonus for like actually winning, though. You just get more and more points as you go, and it's not like a huge amount of extra points for winning either. Hello, level three horse. Sharks, every time a friend faints, gain plus two and plus one. Tiger, the friend ahead casts their ability twice in battle. Does it happen every time it triggers? Will this hippo get plus four, plus four every time? I only summon one thing now. It might be time for the horse to go, unfortunately, even though I just bought the horse. It's only plus three attack. It's a big, it's good unit, though, but... Thinking. I'm going all in on this. This might not work, but this all seems extremely strong. I should have used the pill because it gives you. Or wait, I don't have anything that faints. Freeze. Now we're just going to try to focus on buffing this strategy. We're probably going to lose this round. Because we tossed out a bunch of really strong units for weaker ones that give us abilities for the long term. Nefarious noses. Deer? We're familiar with the deer strategy now. Consuming something is considered killing it, huh? Ah, just splash damage going on with this team. The kings of splash damage here. You got me? Dog strats. As you can see, everyone kind of does the same strategy in this game. <laughs> Skeeter. Now we're gonna... I wasn't paying attention to see if this was working. 50% of attack damage to a random enemy. Oh, you come with something. Knock out any animal hit by this. What's the peanut? You just don't do anything, huh? You just have a uh, death touch? What have we got here? Plus two, plus two. Draw the armor. garlic armor on the shark. Send me. I think we're on the lose, but that's fine. 
We've learned a thing or two. The untouched doggies. Hippo didn't even get to live long enough to see the fruits of his labor. It's a strong freaking shark now, though. Fortunately, you have a strong freaking hi hippo in the back. Don't know how your hippo is so strong when it's not even getting hit. No trade because your dodo is a super saiyan god super saiyan. All right, game over. Well, now you have a basic idea of what the game's like. I'm not very good at it yet, obviously. I haven't pre played until now. I've only seen people play. And I haven't really been paying that much attention. I was doing it while I was multitasking <laughs> when I uh, watched those people play. So that's all the time we had for this episode, though. But we'll at least be playing it for a week. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments. And subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.